Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Monday, it is a new week, so that means it is a brand new meal prep. I have three fantastic recipes for you. I have breakfast, lunch, and a snack or a sweet treat, all of which are summer, WW friendly, low calorie, healthy, clean eating recipes. I cannot wait to share these three with you today. You are going to be so excited. All of my recipes are on my website. The link for my website is down in the description box below. You're also going to find the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. We have a great 90 day summer challenge going on right now. You can come on over and join us. You're also going to find links and discount codes to my favorite things, as well as the things that I'm gonna be sharing with you in today's video. So definitely take a moment and check out that description box. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to join my channel. And of course, thumbs up this video if you love meal prep. So so without further ado, let's jump into this week's meal prep. this week I'm making breakfast wonton cups. These are going to be so good. You're having two wonton cups per day. I'll pair this with some fruit. I may throw an egg in, just kind of depending on how hungry I am and where I am on the way to my protein goal for the day. So let me show you what's in my breakfast. First, you're going to need some salt and pepper. The recipe calls for Cajun seasoning. I don't have any Cajun seasoning, so I'm gonna sub this Dax Original Red. This does have a bit of a kick, so it's a great substitution for Cajun or Creole seasoning. It has that same kind of vibe, but it is zero salt, all natural, no MSG, fantastic ingredients. And because it has no salt, it's great before weigh-in. It's great if you watch your salt, but it does not lack flavor. The flavor is on point with Dax. I love them so much. They just came out with a nothing but the ranch. That is amazing. Highly recommend Dax. Check them out. I do have a code for 10% off and free shipping. Highly highly recommend. It's super affordable and the cleanest, best spices. So I'm going to add some of this original red in place of Cajun. I'm going to use these diced hash browns. You can also use shredded hash browns. I just wanted to use what I had on hand. So I'm going to use those. You'll need some wonton wrappers, of course, some bacon. You could do center cut and it will lower the points a little bit, but I'm going to use this Coleman natural, no sugar, uncured bacon. I got this in my butcher box. So I love butcher box so much, you guys. So there is a link down below for $30 off butcher box if you're interested. So I have that. And then I have light shredded cheese, one chicken sausage. So we're just going to slice this up and divide it amongst the cups. This is the Trader Joe's. It's so good. And then we'll need some green bell pepper. So let's get started on breakfast. So I went ahead and chopped up my sausage, added it to a pan here with four slices of the bacon. We're gonna go ahead and cook that down. And then I weighed out 85 grams or three quarters of a cup of the, uh, my gosh, I can't think of the word, hash browns. So I have that in a separate pan here that I sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. We're gonna cook those. We're gonna cook these and then we'll be ready to put together our breakfast wonton cups. So I went ahead and added salt, pepper, and that Dax seasoning to my hash browns. Now I season them really, really well. This is where a lot of the flavor is going to come from because we're not adding seasoning to anything else. So make sure that you are pretty heavy handed on the hash brown seasoning so that you have that good flavor in all of your little wonton cups. So we're ready to put together the wontons. In my bowl here is my bacon and my cooked sausage. I also have a sliced up green bell pepper, the seasoned hash browns, these look really good. Of course, wonton wrappers, and then one third cup of shredded cheese. So you're going to take a muffin pan. Now I made a mistake and said that it's two wontons per serving. It's actually one wonton per serving because we're using two wonton wrappers per muffin cup. I didn't read that part of the instruction. So I apologize. We're gonna be making six total. So basically you'll get one wonton cup each day for the smart points. And then again, pair that with eggs or fruit or whatever you would like. So go ahead and spray it. And then in each muffin area cup, we're gonna put two wonton wrappers. So I'm gonna kind of put it halfway so it sticks up and basically creates a little cup for us to put in our hash browns, 
bacon and all the good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and fill all six of these with two wonton wrappers. So once you've added your wonton wrappers, then we're just gonna start filling them. So I'm gonna start with the bacon. You want to fill as evenly as possible so that it's it's fair in the smart points. You wanna put about the same amount of the pointed items, the bacon, the sausage, the hash browns, and cheese in each of your little wonton cups. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in the sausage, the hash browns, the green pepper, and then we will kind of divide the cheese a half in the middle and half on top. I have my oven preheating to 350 so we can immediately get these into the oven. So let's get our wonton cups filled up and ready to go. And look at these beauties. These look so good, you guys. They're gonna have that nice crispy cheese in the wonton and then topped with the ooey gooey cheese. These are gonna go in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or just until they're cooked through. So I'll be back to show you our completed breakfast wontons. I just pulled the breakfast wonton cups out of the oven. Look at these. These look so good, you guys. Let me pull one out here. Let me pull one out and I'll show you guys what they look like. I'm just gonna package them in a singular container and then I'll just pop one out every day. You could warm these up in your air fryer and it would give that crunchy shell, it would be so good. So let me get these removed out of the muffin tin here and I'll show you guys breakfast and give you the smart points. So here they are. These look so good, you guys, they're nice and thick of those wonton cups just filled with tons of protein and goodness so you can have one of these wonton cups for four smart points on both the green and the blue plan and three smart points on the purple plan so not bad for a wonton cup with peppers potato sausage and bacon so i can't wait for this again fruit or an egg and you have a perfect breakfast lunch this week I'm making turkey sliders with sweet potato buns so we're gonna use the sweet potato as the bun this is going to be so good it's all clean whole food lots of protein a good solid carb I am excited for this so let me show you what's in lunch you're going to need some panko breadcrumbs parmesan cheese soy sauce or coconut aminos cumin basil and cilantro now you can use fresh cilantro if you'd like i'm just going to use the dried because that's all that i have you'll need some bacon this is that same bacon we used for breakfast one pound of 99 percent ground turkey some light shredded cheese eggs and of course a couple of pretty good sized sweet potatoes we're going to use about one and a half of these sweet potatoes for the buns for our sliders. So let's get started on lunch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop my four pieces of bacon on a paper plate, on a paper towel. I'm going to cover it with another paper towel and I'm gonna throw it in the microwave for about four minutes or until the bacon is cooked. So we're gonna start putting together our sliders because we wanna put this meat mixture into the refrigerator for about a half an hour. Really let it get those flavors into the meat. And then in the meantime, we'll get our potatoes ready to go. So in my bowl here, I have one pound of 99% lean ground turkey. Here are my four slices of bacon. I just pulled them out of the microwave and they come out perfectly other than having a little piece of paper towel. So there are our four slices of bacon. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add two eggs. And everything in this recipe other than the potatoes is in one bowl, so it makes it really easy for cleanup as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs and half of a cup of Parmesan. So I just went ahead and put those both into the same container just to make it a little bit easier. And then we're gonna add some seasoning. So we're gonna put in one tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. 
and then we are going to add our cilantro and again I'm just going to eyeball I like my food pretty flavorful so I'm going to add quite a bit of seasoning we're also going to add in some dried basil and last but not least just a little bit of cumin cumin can be really really overpowering so I don't want to put a lot of that in there and then with our hands we are going to dig in and we're going to get this all mixed together So I went ahead and grabbed one large and half of the other large. I have the other half over here. I'm going to peel these sweet potatoes and then we need two buns per burger. So I'm going to cut these sweet potatoes into 12 pieces because this makes 12 servings. If I don't use all the sweet potato, then I'll recalculate the points, which I may not, but I'm going to go ahead and slice these into pretty good size slices, maybe about a quarter of an inch thick or so, and then we'll get these roasting in the oven. So I went ahead and sliced up 12 sweet potato 12 sweet potato slices. It's a total of 271 grams. I just weighed that out on my food scale. So I'm going to calculate the points of the recipe on that number of grams of sweet potatoes. So what I'm going to do is on a greased cookie sheet, I'm just going to lay out my sweet potato pieces. These are going to go in the oven at 425 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes or until the sweet potatoes are cooked through. So I just grabbed out the sweet potato these are perfectly cooked so I'm just going to transfer them here to a little plate so that I can reuse this same baking sheet to cook my turkey burgers so again we are making six burgers total we'll have one each day so I'm going to form my meat into six patties <laughs> So here's the burgers. They look pretty big, but they will shrink down when we cook them. I'm gonna throw them in the same oven at 425 until they're cooked through, and then we will assemble our little sliders. So I just pulled the burgers out. Now, they are big compared to the sweet potato bun. It's gonna be interesting, but still, it ended up making the burgers a lot bigger for only six burgers for the pound of meat. So that is totally fine. It's still going to do the job. So basically, my plan is to take one of my meal prep containers, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in one half of a sweet potato slider bun, one burger patty, so like I said, the ratio is a little off, but doesn't that look really, really good? It'll still be delicious. You can make your burger smaller and probably lower the smart points if you made maybe 12 burger patties instead of six, but I am absolutely okay with this. It's still a perfect little slider burger. I plan on topping mine with maybe some of the French's honey mustard or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the large side of my meal prep container with one of my burgers. I'm going to divide out this bag of organic sweet peas into the small side and that's gonna be lunch. So let's get these meal preps ready to go. So here is my lunch. It looks really, really good. Again, the ratio is a little off, but I'm not complaining. It still looks really good. This is the mustard that I was saying I would top it with. It's zero points. If you top it with, I think it's a teaspoon is 10 calories. So a little less than a teaspoon is zero points. So that is what I'm planning on doing. This is so good. Nice clean ingredients as well. So let's go over the points for these sweet potato turkey sliders. So again, we made six servings. So they are five smart points on the blue plan. So one slider potato meat, five points on blue, seven on green, and only two on purple because you don't have to count for the meat or the potatoes on the purple plan. So still a great lunch, 253 calories per serving. So it's 253 for the burger and then whatever the peas are, which is about 50 calories. So a 300-ish calorie lunch two five or seven smart point lunch you can't beat it lots of protein so excited for this week
can't wait for dessert this week. I'm making lemon bars, but we're gonna do a clean eating, healthy version of lemon bars. I'm going to use regular powdered sugar and I'm going to use melt plant-based butter. I will give you the points if you use a powdered sugar alternative, but if you would like to lower the points even more, you could use an I can't believe it's not butter. You'll just have to enter these ingredients into the recipe builder to see the points. But I'm going to give you the points for using real powdered sugar and a powdered sugar alternative. And again, go ahead and use whatever butter you would like and just recalculate the points based on that. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need flour, powdered sugar, non-fat Greek yogurt, maple syrup again you could use sugar-free maple syrup and just recalculate the points based on that i'm going to be using my favorite melt plant-based butter eggs you can use real lemons or lemon juice i'm going to use lemon juice so i can save my lemons for my waters for the week vanilla extract and of course some salt so let's make lemon bars the first thing we need to do is make the crust for our lemon bar. So you're going to need a fairly small bowl. I have one cup of flour. This is the organic whole wheat from the Thrive. Thrive is linked down below with $20 worth of free product when you join. So I have one cup of that. It's one of my favorite flours. And then one third cup of the maple syrup. And then I weighed out on my food scale 70 grams or one third cup of my melt butter. And then I threw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds and melted it down. So then we're gonna give this a stir, get everything combined. And this is the crust of our lemon bars. So I have an eight by eight pan here. I'm gonna go ahead and line it with some foil. And then we're going to spray the foil with some non-stick cooking spray before we add in the ingredients of our crust. So go ahead and line your pan. This is going to make removing the lemon bars a lot easier as well. So now we're going to take the crust mix and just put it into the bottom of the sprayed pan and we're going to spread it out. It is going to be a very, very thin layer. The crust is going to be pretty thin for this recipe. So I'm just gonna use the back of my spoon and spread it out evenly until it coats the bottom of the baking dish. So this is going in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna let it cool an additional 10. So in the meantime, we're gonna make the lemon filling. For the filling, we need to add a half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. So here is the yogurt that I'm using. You guys, save yourself scooping it out of a cup and use your food scale. So basically I want 115 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. So I went ahead and put my bowl on, zeroed out my scale, and I'm just going to add non-fat Greek yogurt directly to the bottom until I have 115 grams. This is 116. So that's a lot easier than putting it in a measuring cup and then trying to spoon it out. So for the lemon filling, it's very, very simple to put together. We are going to add just a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna do that. I have about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You saw me add in the Greek yogurt. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And this again is that wheat flour from the Thrive Market. I have one third cup of maple syrup. So a second third of a cup goes into the filling. And then we need to crack three large eggs. And last is one third of a cup of lemon juice. So this one's almost gone. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I figure the more lemon, the better. So I'm just going to put in about a third of a cup of lemon juice and then we're gonna stir this all together. We wanna make sure this is mixed completely and everything is combined. So I pulled the crust out about 10 minutes ago so it's had a chance to cool a little bit. I ended up having to poke some holes in it with a fork because it was bubbling up. So make sure you poke some holes before you put your crust in. So here is the filling and I went ahead and just made sure that there was not any chunks of yogurt. And then we are just going to pour this directly over the crust make sure it's nice and even and then we're going to throw this back in that 350 degree oven for about 30 more minutes or until it's set so i just pulled the lemon bars out these look so good it smells so good in here i'm going to let these cool for a little bit before i pull the foil we'll just pop the foil right out of the pan these bars make 12 servings so we'll cut them up and i'll be back to show you the serving size and give you the smart points so I went ahead and cut the bars into 12 servings. So look at that. 
That's a good size bar. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them over here to a plate. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar over the top first, actually, and then we'll transfer them to the plate. So I have a cup of powdered sugar, and I'm just going to sprinkle that right over the top of the bars. I actually might use my fingers, that might be better. So we're just gonna go ahead and put them the powdered sugar right over the top. Now, if you had a sifter, that would probably honestly be ideal, but I do not, so we're gonna use our hands or use a spoon or whatever you have to do it we're actually not even going to use this whole quarter cup i don't think so i'm going to keep the points the same but i still have quite a bit left so then i'm going to go ahead and take a spatula and i'm just going to transfer the lemon bars over to the plate and look at this oh my goodness doesn't that look so good so we're just gonna pop these onto the plate that's where they will be stored i'll put them into the refrigerator I have to give you another look. Look at that. That looks so good. They smell so good. I'm gonna have to give them a taste. This one on the corner isn't the prettiest one, so I'll have to give that a taste, but my goodness, you guys, these look so good. So let me get them over here and I'll be back to share the smart points. So here are our lemon bars. These are so good. I tried a little bit. Yum, look how big these are too, you guys. And we're using real ingredients, maple syrup, real sugar, I'm excited for these. So on the blue and purple plan, one of these lemon bars using real powdered sugar, so as you see here, is six points and is seven on the green plan. And uh, if you use a powdered sugar alternative, so monk fruit powdered or swerve, you're gonna save yourself a point. So it'll be five points on blue and purple and six on green. 249 calories per lemon bar. Yum. Thank you so much for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I can't wait for breakfast, lunch, and lemon bars. Hello, one of my favorite things ever. And not only are these clean eating, but they are point friendly, they're calorie friendly. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and have that breakfast, that lunch. It's gonna be a great week of meals. So again, all of my recipes are on my website. My website is linked down below, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. So again, the challenge just started, so it's still lots of time to join. And all the links and discount codes to my favorite things, you'll find those down in that description box as well. If you are new, thanks so much for checking out my channel. If you're interested in subscribing, we'd love to have you. Just hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. That way you're notified when new videos are uploaded. We have such an amazing community. Please head on over, join us by hitting the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you loved these three recipes that I shared with you. It really helps out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's make this a fantastic week. Happy Monday once again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.